as above, so below. The ancient Egyptians taught that, and so Sirius, which is the brightest star in the sky, and so meaningful in Egyptian cosmogony, cos cosmology, astronomy, astrology, agriculture even, the dog star, the Canis Major. So Sirius on Egyptian soil, how does something get from the stars to Egyptian soil? This is a new major revelation. I don't think you're going to believe what I talk about at the end here, but stay tuned, stay, pay attention here. So um, here's a cross section I made of the Great Pyramid, quick sketch. And of course, there's the Queen's Chamber South air shaft. It goes out that way, and that's what points to Sirius. Now, I recognize that that shaft isn't perfectly straight, but it does form that 39-degree uh, angle that goes out and points to Sirius. Okay, as above, so below. All right, there's Sirius up in the sky. That's above, and then down below on Earth, how do you find it? Okay, so here's what we have here. Um, this is Google Earth. And on it, I've plotted the pyramids and the other sites that correspond with the stars of Orion on Egyptian soil. A hugely expanded version of the Orion correlation theory. That's decades old, and it's only the belt. You know, I extended it to all the stars of Orion, and now here's Sirius over here. Do you see that? So I did an overlay. So here's my here's the, the constellation of Orion. Here's Google Earth with, with Sirius over there. And the fact that it lined up, I'm not going to show it exactly, but I'm telling you it lined up. The fact that I found that was a further confirmation of the Enoch New Orion Connection Hypothesis. That's the expanded Orion Correlation Theory. Enoch, it comes from him. Enoch New Orion Connection Hypothesis. I did that. I set out to find them. And as far as I know, and this is not a boast. People think I'm boasting. I'm not boasting. I'm the only person in the world that's done this. I've asked for other people to tell me, if you know anybody that's gone beyond the belt stars to all the stars of Orion on Egyptian soil where they fall, put me in touch with them. You know, I'm, I'm like a lone ranger out here. And I don't mind that, but it would nice, be nice to have company and be able to, uh, you know, talk, talk shop with people. So there's the idea that the, the stars in Orion have corresponding places on Egyptian soil. And I took it to all the major stars in Orion. Now, I call my theory the Egyptian New Orion Connection Hypothesis, an anagram for you know, Enoch. Okay, It's Egyptian because Orion is, for instance, in Arizona. He's in China. So you have to say which Orion you're talking about. Egypt doesn't have the only Orion. So it's the Egyptian, and this is a new theory. It's the New Orion, the Egyptian New Orion Connection Hypothesis. Okay, That's my book. It's an extension of the Orion Correlation Theory. Okay, so... I want my, my, my research to guide me. I don't want to have, what good do I do if I have preconceived ideas and I go out and prove them? That's not a researcher. That's not honest. And so that, that's, that's my goal. When I go out, you know, and what did I find? When I, well, this is, if you read my book, I found ecology. I was thinking it would be pyramids and stars, pyramids and stars. How in the heck did studying the, the constellation Orion in the heavens on its Egyptian soil lead me to ecology. It's an amazing story. It's an important story, as Robert Grant says in the foreword, for all of planet Earth. It is. Sif and, Nebula, Sif and the Nebula, which are stars right about there in Orion's belt, that's where it, it started connecting to ecology. It's really just amazing. Read the book. But here is Sirius, okay? So Sirius, you almost, it's almost like the belt stars point down towards Sirius. Okay. Now, Here's where I found Sirius on Egyptian soil. You know, I, you can see I've got, you know, a, a, a sort of a compass ruler around that area. That's amazing. I mean, look at that. Look where the, where the star point is. It's right, you know, in, in that area where there's a circle. You see that? And there, there's, you know, a, an arrow pointing right, right through that. Well, that's interesting because, you know, I showed you that there's that, that Queen's Chamber South air shaft that pushes through like that. Well, that's at 39 degrees. Well, guess what? When you take this uh, thing there, that's 39 degrees. When you when I when you turn it, tilt it like I did, so that the street where the ruler is is horizontal, you get 39 degrees. The same as the angle of the shaft in the Great Pyramid pointing to Sirius. That's like unbelievable. I mean seriously. <laughs> so here I am. This was such an incredible expedition. This is out in the desert in Egypt. 
It's a scale model, not a scale model, excuse me. It's a life-size model of that southern queen's chamber shaft that points to Sirius. This was built by antiquities, the Egyptian antiquities, in 2007. They don't do hardly anything with it. You can see me taking measurements on it because it's the exact same size. It's a life-size model of what's actually in the Great Pyramid. Seriously, okay? But there's more. So I think that's incredible what, what you know, I showed you there. It's, it's like a confirmation of my theory that Sirius matches up with all the other stars of Orion and that it, the 39 degrees is like a slam dunk. It's like saying, yes, this is it. Your theory's correct. Here's Sirius on Egyptian soil. So I posted about this on Instagram. Now, here's a picture of you know, some of my Instagram feed. And, of course, that right there looks like what I posted because I posted a picture of Sirius on Egyptian soil. But that particular post that's being pointed to is just is not that it just looks like it because there's a sort of a circular street there that's actually the picture for the poem i wrote on december 31st to january 1st which was a a poem about 2020 2020 will you be fun and send us all your golden sun and help its resonance be done so it portrays the shining one will you obliterate the night with king Achnaton's glory bright will seekers turn from wrong to right as once blind eyes are given sight, <clears throat> will popcorn pop as nectar flows, as ego shrink and teeming grows? Is yours the magic that bestows a world on fire, a world that glows? Almighty oh, Zeus, will you please stay, bequeathing all your heavenly pay by filling us with joy today, so bittersweet when you're away? Can it be this 2020 you'll promise more for eyes to see? O oh, joyous year, O oh, can you be a circle year? eternity okay so i wrote that new year's day but here's the point that's not the post where i posted it it looks sort of like that area that's serious but it's not so when i did post the actual post about serious someone first commented on the post which led to some direct messaging with me and the person and they basically said to me aren't you afraid of the guardians of that site they were being totally serious they were trying to protect me. They were trying to help me. Aren't you afraid of them? Well, I basically answered no. I, I pray to the Alpha and Omega. I, I, I give you know almost daily evidences that that the Alpha and Omega is guiding me and you know with me. So I'm not afraid. I mean, theoretically, I'm not afraid of anything. You know, I could tell you stories, but I'm not afraid of anything. So I was telling that person this. So then, blankety blank. Here's the deal. That Instagram post is gone. Instagram didn't delete it for content. It was one of those things, Mr. Paul, we're taking down your, you know, your, your, no, no. It's just gone. It is gone. The post I put out there showing you some of the things I just showed you in this video is gone. It's simply gone. So today is my second attempt to tell you about this. Aren't you afraid of the watchers of that site? I mean, so here's the deal. Good and evil exist in this world. Some of you find ways to dance around that and say it's not true. It's so obvious it's true. Cancer, war, disease, sickness, hatred, animosity, prejudice, racism. Good and evil exist in this world and they battle with one another. They do. So I trust in the Alpha and Omega. Hey, I've had a couple last minute additions to the October adventure. Oh my goodness. Come with us if you can. Thanks for watching.